Yeah, makes makes perfect sense. I love that. So what are some of the roadblocks that you see when people are thinking about, gosh, should I do this? Should I hire a VA? What's, what's blocking them from doing it? What are some of the typical uh, comments that you hear from those that are on the fence? So some of the objections that, that I hear, um, one of the big ones is just ability. Like, can I do it? I think a lot of people are in that mindset that they just can't manage people. They, they can't get other people to do what they want. They can't get that information out of their head. And I mean, I don't have an MBA. Like, it, it, you can be done. Like, you don't need to be the greatest business owner in the world to be able to hire a team and hire virtual assistants. I think there's a confusion aspects of what to do, which is why I built Outsource School. I mean, I always wish back in the day, instead of spending five years wandering around doing trial and error, someone just said, hey, here's what you do. Here's the interview questions. Here's what red flags you look for. Here's how you onboard them. Here's how you run meetings. I also think there's a, a fear of risk, right? Because everyone's business is their baby. I know Outsource School is my baby now. And you're putting someone in a position to make decisions or do something that could potentially hurt your business, your baby can seem risky. But my kind of counter to that is business is risky. Hiring is always going to be risky. Even if you hire your best friend to sit right next to you, never mind a VA, there's always a chance that they do something stupid or jeopardize your business in some way. But the average virtual assistant that you hire from the Philippines or wherever cares so much more about providing for their family and getting a good review and staying on the marketplace they're on and keeping you as a client long term and, and making more money than they do about hurting or jeopardizing your business in some way. And I always hear the last objection of time. And what I like to do is kind of do the math with people that, hey, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an investment to set up. But if you just hire a VA for five hours a week at five bucks an hour, which is 25 bucks a week, about $1,300 a year, you get over 260 hours a year back. That's six and a half weeks that you save a year for $1,300. Now, some people listening, their time might not be worth the $1,300 a year only. And I say that in a nice way, just because they haven't started their business. They might not have a revenue stream yet, but for a lot of entrepreneurs, their time is worth a lot more than $1,300 a year for six and a half weeks back. So you have to put that time in perspective that it's a short-term investment now to get a lot more time back in the future. 